EDCI 522, working with Google Drive and Google Forms. This video is a Google Forms overview. It includes how to start a form in Google Drive, select a form template, reviews question formats, and present steps for connecting your form to a spreadsheet. It will also detail the process for making your form and spreadsheet public and locating the persistent URL for sharing information with your peer review group and instructor. Navigate to the Google Drive homepage, drive.google.com. You may log into your AU account or use a personal account from this starting point. In this video, I will be using my Ashland University account. At sign in, be sure to enter your full AU email, including at ashland.edu, and enter your password. After successful login, you will notice the Ashland University logo displaying in the top left corner of the page. If it's the first time you've logged in to AU Google Drive, you will see the Meet Your Drive information and the My Drive Google Drive dashboard. To begin, click Create and select Form. Follow the prompts to begin your form. Enter a form title and review the design themes presented. I recommend that you choose a simple template. Focus on readability, usability, and basic form function. Keep in mind the purpose is to gather data on your unit. And remember, it is possible to change your theme later. When you've made your choice, click to Submit and OK. Your form title will display at the top left of the page as the name of your item. It will also automatically become the name of your form. If you want to change the form title, click in the box and resolve your content. To make the peer review process simpler, you may want to enter your last name as part of the form title. There are a few things to take note of before you continue working with your form content. First, as you are working with your form, Google Drive automatically saves your changes. Second, when using Google Drive in conjunction with Ashley University accounts, there are settings available to users. Review the Ashland University settings box at the top of the page. You are required to make your survey publicly available with no sign-in required. To accomplish this, remove the check mark requiring Ashland University respondents to sign in for use. Click OK to authorize the change. There is no need for you to collect username data. Your peer reviewer group members should be asked to enter their name on the form. Be sure neither of these boxes have a check mark. If you wish, you can minimize the settings box by clicking on the arrow. When you are working with your form, anytime you select an area, it will be highlighted in blue. This provides easy visual clues for editing your content. Directly below the form name is an area for your form description. Take this opportunity to introduce your unit name and topic to your peer review group. Provide any additional information they may need, such as your unit URL, to help review your project and thank them for their feedback. We'll start with the untitled question located directly below your survey description. Click to open. The first question should be for your reviewer to identify themselves. For the question title, enter reviewer's name. And for the help desk, ask them to enter their first and last name. From the question type drop down box, select text. The text box will display showing you where the answer will be submitted. Place a check mark in required question. This means the reviewer cannot move forward without entering their name information. When you're finished, click Done. At this point, you can see how your form is starting to come together. If you'd like to see how it looks like, you may click View Live Form. This is how your form will appear to the reviewer. Return to your form to continue editing. Use Add Item to continue with your form process. 
there are a number of basic options available to you. Use text or paragraph for open-ended questions requiring longer responses. You can use multiple choice, checkbox, or choose from a list for specific answers. If you are interested in having responders rate your project on a scale, use scale. Choose the slightly more advanced options as needed. You may enter as many questions as you deem necessary to complete your survey. At any time, you can choose to delete a question. You may also duplicate and edit a question any time during the process of your survey. You may also reorder questions by dragging them and dropping them where you'd like them to be. When you're finished with your survey, review the confirmation page options. Each reviewer should complete the survey once. Remove the check that allows for a link for a second submission. Responses should be private. Do not publish and show a link for anyone's results. You may choose to decide if you want to allow your responders to edit the responses after submitting. Scroll to the top of your form, review all your information, and verify all your changes have been saved. Before making your survey available to the peer review group, you need to set up the response destination, a spreadsheet. Click Choose Response Destination. Use the New Spreadsheet option and Create. Google Forms will work to set up your spreadsheet. When it's finished, it will say View Responses. Click on it to see the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet will collect your responses. You will be able to see a timestamp noting when all the responses were submitted, and there will be a column for every question you have answered. You will need a live, persistent link for both aspects of your form, the spreadsheet and the form. The spreadsheet link will be submitted in the final drop box. Select Share, Change Access to Anyone with Link, and Save. The link to Share is highlighted in blue. You will copy this link and submit it in the drop box. For the Form link, select Send Form. Highlight and copy the link to save. If you choose to embed your form in your project, this is the same process you will use to add it to your website. Remember, you will share your live form link with your peer review group. After the evaluation is complete, you will share the spreadsheet link with me in the final Dropbox. When you're finished, take time to log out of your Google Drive account and verify that your links are live and open for public viewing.